us to leave you alone for a little while? Mr. Harwood? Does November 16th mean anything to you? Care to share? Is that, is that your birthday? Mm -hmm. Is that the day you departed? Did, is that right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the year was? All right, do not tell me. Oh. <clears throat> was, it, was it before 1940? Was it after 1940? Mm -mm. Mr. Harwood, don't play games. This is where he's playing games. This is where the jester comes in. <clears throat> do you yeah. like? Do you like playing games? I've got some uh, board games we can play. No, there's a reason we're talking to him. Do you know why? Mr. Harwood? Was your death before 1920? Was it before 1918? Thank you. Was it 1916? That was me yawning, sorry. Did you pass in the year of 1916? Mr. Harwood? November 16, 1916. You were at the bar downstairs? Is that why you want to have a drink?
Which one of you asked if he was into real estate? No one. I thought somebody did. I thought you did. I thought that was like your second guess. Um. I said lawyer. Because you asked if he was in like selling things. Business, selling things. Finances. Real estate. Finances. Banking. Or banking. I never said real estate. You never said real estate. Okay, well I heard it from somebody, so. Did, were you in a real estate? Did you sell homes? Did you like doing that? Probably be a pretty tough job sometimes. Did you hang around in the bar downstairs a lot? Our questions. Yes, we really, really appreciate it. Are you sad, Mr. Harwood? Is your family here with you? Did you have more than one child? Are any of your children here with you? Are they allowed to play up here? Are they young children? I'll have to look that up. To validate. brought a book up here would the, would would you or your kids like me to read a book it's a children's book okay no reading that's fine did you want to talk about why you shot yourself? Was it because you were sick? Did you have an illness? Um, yeah, you're gonna have to, um, hmm. you need to take two steps back, dude. Uh, Mr. Harwood, you can't, you can't do that. <clears throat> Use the equipment to answer questions. We, we have been very respectable, very respectful to you, and we appreciate the same respect back, please. I'll talk to you and I'll communicate to you the way I have been and then with you using the equipment, but I'm not going to trance tonight. You can't know.
I, I'm not. I'm not going to let you use me. That's people outside. You can use the equipment, or you can use my third eye. We would rather use the equipment, though, because the rest of us can't see or hear you. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Did it involve your lungs? Your illness, did your illness involve your lungs? Do you have a difficult time breathing? Or was it your heart? Dane, you might have to re-ask after I do. Did you have a problem with your... He's confirming that you need to re-ask. Okay. Did you have a problem with your lungs? Okay, that was the music box. You can use that thing too, the little music box. You you probably just walked right in front of it. And that won't hurt you either. Did you have a problem with your heart? Some kind of issue with your circulatory system or your your breathing? Were you a smoker? Did you smoke cigarettes or cigars, pipes? Did you have lung cancer or heart disease? Maybe he didn't know. Maybe he just didn't feel good. Was it your liver? Did you have a problem with your liver? Maybe you drank too much and you got sick from it? Was your wife still alive when, when you died? Is that a yes? Your wife was alive? Okay, are, are you, hold on, thank you though very much, that what you were doing is absolutely fascinating and very good, and we really appreciate it, but are you trying to contact your wife to apologize to her, or your kids? Have, 
have you seen them? Hold on. Because I'm going to ask some really, really deep questions. Because okay. we, we, don't, we don't understand how the afterlife works. And we really, really, really would love to know. Okay, so just stop for just a second. I'm going to ask you a, a serious question. And I want you to answer truthfully. All right, just stop for a second. I, I need complete silence for just a second before I ask. Okay, all right, thank you. Have you seen your family since you've passed? Are you able to speak to them? You gotta slow down your question. Are you able to speak to your family? You okay, Rachel? Yeah, she's sniffling because it's cold. Okay, I understand. Yeah, I just jumped up to 2.4. No, I'm not a zero. Okay. Did you ask them to forgive you? And, and did they forgive you? Did they forgive you, Mr. Harwood? Did they forgive you? Did they forgive you? Uh, Mr. Harwood, I, I totally get it. I had a terrible drinking problem and I was able to quit. I was able to stop. But I know a lot of people that couldn't and it's very hard for people that, yes, it is. It's very hard for people that never had a drinking problem to understand. But I, but I understand. And you want to know something? I am proud of you for being honest with me. I really am because there is there is actually treatment now for alcoholics for people with heavy drinking problems. Were you able were you ever labeled as mentally ill? Did anyone ever tell you that you were schizophrenic or you had some kind of other mental illness? Yeah, that's because they didn't have treatment back then. But they but they do now. Is that where the jester comes in, the two lives? Is that why you're... Okay, so you're showing... 4.8. Point four. So you're showing, you're showing Jen one side of you that's funny and clowning and having a good time. And he tried to have the business stature, the reputation, the 
high status amongst the town here in Alton and where he was from. He wasn't from Alton, but he wasn't far from Alton either. So did he actually live here? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. He lived in Illinois. So are, are you stuck here, Mr. Harwood? Are you able to leave the hotel? Yeah, I, I feel really bad for you, sir. I really do because I've been where you're at, where you feel hopeless and nobody understands and people are angry at you for what you're doing and you really want to quit but you can't and people don't understand and it's just but you know what you don't you don't drink now and you haven't for 104 years unless there's bars in heaven Are there bars where you're at right now? Uh, well, he's here with us, and there's a bar across the street, so yeah. we need to, like... Have you, have you, <laughs> hold on, uh, have you been somewhere other than Earth? Like, have you been to a different dimension or a different plane, a, a, a different level? Are you okay if I ask you questions about that? Are you laughing or crying? Yeah, I'm laughing. Why? <laughs> because. What's so funny? It's like asking if you can cheat on a test. No, this isn't a test. I, I want I, No, asking questions about the afterlife in heaven is like asking I'm not asking about heaven. I didn't say anything about heaven. <laughs> Mr. All that's right. where he thinks you're going though. That's why I started laughing because he's like that's like asking if he can cheat on a test. Alright, Mr. Harwood. Alright, can you <laughs> can you tell me this? Answer answer this question. Was it a was so where you went? Hold on. So where? <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. So where you went, Mr. Harwood? Was it a bad place? Was it a good place? Don't be coming through the wall at me. Is that, a, is that a yes that it was a good place? Okay, good. I am, you know what? I am really happy to hear that. Did you see people there that you knew? Is it a place where you're able to come and go? So you're, okay. Did you see, did you meet somebody that was famous 
and not like an actor or a music singer, but somebody that's very well known around the world, even today. Did you meet, did you meet someone like that? He was written about in a very, very popular book. Did you meet him? Is that a yes? Did you feel good when you met him? Can you see can you see other people that have also met him? This is steadily climbing over here. If I were to give you a name of a person that you don't know, but I do, that, that passed on, would you be able to find them? And, I, and I'm really sorry if I'm being intrusive. I'm just very, very curious. Because I don't know how all this works. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask again, if, if you can go to that place. 4.5. <clears throat> W would you be able to find a person that I know that passed on that you don't know? If I give you the, if I give you the name of someone would you be able to go find them now? Four point eight. So what she's talking about, there's a device over there called a millimeter, mm -hmm. and it is measuring EMF. Okay. So four point eight is pretty significant. So could, would you would you be willing to try? Would you be willing to try to go find someone for me? And it's okay, I'm not gonna be mad if you're not, or if you're not able to. It's just, it's just a question I have. She's working on it, buddy.
This is actually very fascinating because most of the time they play with stuff but you can't get them to... Wait, I'm working on it, hold on. She's working on it. You have my light. So it'd be a wood design, like dark, and this would be like etched, like routed out and stained dark, and it would say that, and then this would be thread, and the thread would like be going through the sign. I got no idea. Well, text it and ask your sister. Well, I'm not gonna do it now. Well, that's what I need to show you. So. Okay, Mr. Harwood, can can hold on, hold on. Can you read my thoughts? So if I if I talk to you in my head, can you hear it? Okay, I'm gonna give you the name of a person. Okay, and then I want you to see if you can get a message from that person and give it to my wife so that I will know that it's from that person, okay? All right, cool. This is, if this this works, I'm gonna absolutely, this is mind blowing. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the person right now, okay? Ready? Okay. Did you hear the person? picturing her in my mind. Okay. If you can if you can find her and get a message and then relay that to Jennifer, either a picture or a word or something that I will know that it's from that person. That would absolutely blow my mind. <laughs>